Fitness queen Tiffany Hall's been floored by a debilitating condition. It's left the young mum fatigued and weak. She's talked to us about her pain and daily struggles. I was just drowning and I didn't know how to find help. It won't kill you, but it will ruin your life. This is going to be my biggest battle yet. She's known for kicking goals and kicking butt in the fitness industry. A Logie nominee, TV gladiator and successful businesswoman. But in recent months, the usually upbeat Tiffany Hall felt flat. I would uh, always have brain fog, like I can't think straight. Um, blood pressure issues for me um, and this debilitating, crippling fatigue that, um, you know, would see me on bad days not be able to even have a shower, walk. I was bed bound. The Taekwondo black belt had gone from this to this. And with her son Arnold to think of, Tiff knew she needed help. At my worst, um, you know, it, it, yeah, I went to hospital multiple times and I was you know, things got so bad, I had my mum and a friend move into the house full time because I could not get out of bed to look after my son. Tiff's husband, popular radio host Ed Cavalier, was her rock, supporting his wife as she tried to find out what was wrong. My husband was, you know, taking me to every specialist. I still can't drive. Like, I am too fatigued and dizzy to drive, so I would have to be driven everywhere. Eventually, the couple would arrive at the right destination. Tiff was diagnosed with chronic fatigue syndrome. It took a long time to A, get the diagnosis, so I was very sick for a long time, thinking it was just burnout. When it's not, it, it's chronic fatigue syndrome, and I, I just didn't know what to do about it. The fatigue is like, like your body is encased in cement. It is horrendous, it's absolutely hideous, and I think you need that support. So don't keep pushing like I did. Stop and find a good chronic fatigue clinic that can help you learn about it. For someone who tackles life with energy and strength, Tiff was confronting something very different. Tiff, you've done some incredible fitness challenges, uh, bruising TV schedules. Is this one of the hardest chapters of your life? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was a gladiator. I have, I have done some amazing things with my physical body, yet this is going to be my biggest battle yet. The chronic fatigue syndrome, which we call ME-CFS, is a chronic complex condition. Um, it has been scheduled in WHO as a neurological disease. Dr Heidi Nickel is an expert in chronic fatigue syndrome from La Trobe University. It's like waking up with the flu every day, feeling absolutely terrible and debilitated, and then having to go to the doctor and it being on you to try and convince your doctor that this is real and that they should educate themselves. It's not a situation that we want anyone to be in. Dr Nickel is calling for more research into CFS and funding to develop a proper test. According to Chronic Fatigue Syndrome Support Group Emerge Australia, 250,000 people live with the condition in this country. More than 75% of those are women and among those diagnosed, just 10% will ever return to full health. So we don't know what causes it yet. There is a lot of research happening, and what we do know is this is a biomedical illness. It isn't something that's in patients' heads. It isn't something that has a psychological or psychiatric causation. You know, a lot of people are struggling with diseases and they've got it lost a lot worse than me, I know that. But the problem with chronic fatigue is it won't kill you, but it will ruin your life. For this reason, Tiff is encouraging other CFS sufferers to speak out. I hid. I was smiling on camera and dying behind the scenes and hiding it for so long. But since I've come out and I've talked about chronic fatigue syndrome and POTS, the support has been overwhelming. Over the next few months, Tiff plans to step back from her fitness company, focusing on her health and personal goals. I want to get back to being a good mum. I, at the moment, my husband drives me to the park and I sit on a bench and I watch my son play. 
I used to be on the monkey bars with him. You know, I, I want to be able to play with my son at the park and I want to be able to get him to kinder, to give him breakfast and be able to walk him to kinder. And you feel that she'll do it too. After all, she's a fighter. Oh, that's an important story that affects so many people.